Hey you guys, we are back and we are going into our last day of snowmobiling here in southern Idaho. We're driving up to Fairfield right now. We got fresh snow, obviously we've had that the entire trip. It's been amazing. Yeah, there's been some moments where you're just trenching endlessly on flat ground and finally get stuck and you know, you get off pin and wiggle move a couple feet forward, but that's it. it like, yeah. They just won't climb out of this stuff. It's ridiculous. So today we're headed back to get the last of that fresh before we head back home. We're almost to the parking lot, so we'll kind of fill you guys in midday on the mountain here. So we'll see you there. We told you guys we'd be back with a little midday update on the mountain, so here we are. And some things have developed. Earlier in these episodes, I ripped my track. It is beginning to ratchet pretty severely now. Come take a look at what we got here. This Ooh. rod is ripped all the way through. And this one is too. So it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, I mean, there's some definite carnage, unfortunately. Flex Edge 2.0. That's a bummer. Yeah, we anyways. Have, we have a bunch of zip ties. <laughs> <laughs> zip ties may not do the job here. I think it'll get me off the mountain. I'm just concerned about blowing it off and making the day much longer than it already could be. Well, sorry man. I'll be sure to track it all up for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I've been having some struggles of my own. I can't keep skidoo skis together for some reason. I broke like three last year and then broke one right away this year. So I custom fabbed a ski rubber out of an entire roll of electrical tape, two ripped straps from my tunnel bag, and uh, what was remaining from the Rev XP ski rubber. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try and ride out for the rest of the day and then that's it for us here in Fairfield. Yeah, for sure. A little Boondock Nation customs out here on the mountain today. <laughs> but it's all right, it is what it is.
My backwoods fix on the ski rubber is holding up on the left side, but unfortunately my right one has blown out now. I'm struggling here. If you guys have any suggestions for how to keep ski rubbers and Polaris skis on a skidoo spindle, drop them in the comments below because that would be super useful. Dill's track continues to degrade. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely to the point I do not want to ride it anymore. So that being said, uh, our camera guy Matt has offered me to give the old 175 a spin. So I'm gonna see what this thing's all about. I've never ridden a 175 before. That's a wrap for snowmobiling here in Fairfield. We're a little bruised up, sleds are a little battered, but can't <laughs> complain about this trip at all. The riding was awesome as you guys saw. We still have one other place we gotta check out. And then we're out of here. Another phenomenal meal here on our trip to Southern Idaho. We're here in Fairfield at the Iron Mountain and you know, being Wisconsin guys, we're used to having prime rib on Saturday nights. They did not disappoint here, that's for sure. Yeah, super cool spot. So, like Jack mentioned, we had an awesome uh, prime rib here, but they got a little pool league going on tonight. A couple guys hanging out around the bar. Great spot to check out after a day of riding. Definitely check out uh, Fairfield and Twin Falls and all the power sports that you can do around the area here. Super, super cool destination. Definitely a unique one for us. Yeah, I'm definitely coming back here. We've always heard a lot about this place mm -hmm. and uh, we'll have to give the Tuppers a shot and see if we can get out uh, here with them at some point. But that would be super cool. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let us know what you think of the videos. We're happy to hear it. So we'll see you next time.